Configuring SPI in slave mode is different from master mode because the slave does not control the clock or timing. It must be ready before the master starts. Typical SPI slave initialization flow. One, enable peripheral clock. SPI module must be powered and clocked. Two, configure GPIO pins. MOSI, input. MISO, output. SCLK, input. CS, input. Ensure correct pull up or pull down on CS if required. Three, select slave mode. MCU waits for external clock in CS. Four, configure SPI mode. Set CPOL and CPHA exactly as expected by the master. Five, set bit order. MSB first or LSB first must match the master. Six, configure frame size. 8-bit or 16-bit as required by the protocol. 7. Prepare transmit data. Load default or dummy data into the transmit register. Slaves must have data ready before clock arrives. 8. Enable SPI peripheral. Slave must be enabled before CS is asserted. 9. Enable interrupts or DMA. Optional. Used to handle incoming data without missing bytes.